Is the CompTIA trifecta worth it? I'm going to go ahead and agree with this guy and say, I mean, it's all right. Like, overrated as f in my opinion. I mean, so the CompTIA trifecta, which includes the A plus, Net plus, and Security plus, is absolutely worthless. Or at least that's what this guy on Reddit's saying. Let's actually go ahead and get into the details. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we got this guy on Reddit. Uh, as he goes by howtonetwork.com. And uh, he's saying the CompTIA trifecta is worthless. And uh, I'm going to give my opinion on it first, but let's see what he's actually saying. I'm not going to read it all because a lot of what he's just saying is rambling on. But it looks like he's been on the slash CompTIA Reddit forum for a while now. And he's always asked whether or not the CompTIA trifecta is worth it. And he's never got a solid answer on it. And it also seems as if he's actually worked in the IT field for a while. And he's got his own IT consultant company. Uh, he's got a whole bunch of experience getting some of these certifications and have actually created certification guides on it. Um, and he says, after getting these certifications, some of the results of 12 months of hard work and study and thousands of dollars resulted in no job offers and also no extra value in the marketplace, which includes like better roles or salaries or something like that. Uh, he says some of the positives are the fact that he had good understanding of the fundamentals of computers and now he can apply for some DOD jobs because a lot of DOD jobs require you to get the uh, CompTIA Security Plus certification so that you can be IIT uh, level two certified, uh, which is just a certification they say anybody who's messing with tech uh, and is a administrator needs to have. But he also notes that, of course, that's thousands of other people who can do the same thing that have the security plus. Uh, he says some of the negatives include that he's not qualified in any vendor specific equipment, which is super accurate, right? He's not uh, messing with Cisco equipment or Ruby equipment, stuff like that, or even like Windows systems, anything like that. Uh, and another negative, it's probably overdrawn and he's already probably forgot half the stuff that he's uh, learned throughout the last 12 months. And what he says, which makes a lot more sense, is to get some sort of uh, foundation, whether it be non-vendor or vendor specific certification, then potentially get, even getting an intermediate certification somewhat related to that. And then from there, switching over to an actual vendor specific certification. So one example he gives here is getting a, the Network Plus, which is vendor neutral. It's not specifically related to Cisco or Aruba. And then going into CCNA or CCNP, or even maybe getting the JCN. Uh, he doesn't say it, but maybe even getting the JCNIA, which is the, uh, the Juniper version of like their CCNA. And he also says that he's got no skin in the game and he's not telling anybody what to do or criticizing uh, your choices. But I am wondering why so many people uh, clamor for something that ultimately won't make a jot of difference. They will all expire within three years and the first one he took will be due in two years by the time he finished all three. He says he teaches a lot of CompTIA certs on his website, but he can safely say that there is zero demonstrable value in passing all three of the core CompTIA exams. And he also notes in there that um, it seems as if people finish their CompTIA trifecta, they get all three of them and then they're asking now, what, what do I do now? And of course that ends up resulting in just having to get more certifications at that point you have no vendor specific um, training or experience so then you need to actually uh, get some vendor specific training because that's what you're going to be touching in the tech field let's say you want to become a network engineer you're going to need a ccna because you're going to be messing with a lot of cisco products or even uh, the jcni um, or whatever aruba certifications they might have those are the different types of devices networking devices that you're going to touch and you're going to need to have some experience in them so having a certification kind of demonstrates that you at least have a base knowledge in it so you've done these three certifications you've spent upwards of a year studying for it and now you've actually got to go ahead and take another exam when cisco exams aren't cheap if i remember correctly the a plus is 300 dollars. and if you want to get a ccnp afterwards which you'll definitely have to have some experience as a network engineer at that point but if you do that's another i think about $700 because it's two exams at least and core is $400 and then your specific route that you want to take is another $300. So after you've done all your CompTIA studying, now you've got to study for your vendor specific or if you want to become a systems administrator or a cloud administrator, you might have to look into a Microsoft Azure certification or an AWS certification. And that'll actually allow you to have somewhat of an experience that might make you more marketable when you're applying for these jobs. Just having the trifecta isn't going to get you a job. And uh, it might actually, uh, you know, I, I take that back. It might actually help you get specific jobs, but not the ones you're looking for, depending on where you're at in your career field currently. Let's say you've got some, a few years in your current career field, you're maybe making, I don't know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, maybe even more. Um, just because you have your CompTIA A+, Net+, and Security+, Plus doesn't mean you're gonna be able to jump into the tech field and make that same amount or even more. Honestly, you're probably gonna be taking a pay cut. You're gonna be getting one of the lowest help desk jobs and they're probably gonna pay you 
maybe twenty to forty thousand dollars, and a lot of it might be hourly and end up being even less than that. Uh, so it kind of sucks. So you, you're honestly gonna have a bad taste in your mouth after. What did he say? You're spending all this time and money getting your CompTIA trifecta, and then it's not actually helping out whatsoever. So I do agree with what he says. It's. I don't think you should honestly get all three of them. If you're trying to get into the DOD, the Department of Defense, I would recommend getting the Security Plus mainly because you have to have it. Any DOD job is going to require you to have it or be able to obtain it within six months because it's a government requirement. That's something you can't get around. You don't need the A plus and Net plus for that. However, they're also still going to be, for the most part, expecting some sort of, which, which is what they call um, computing environment certification, which is essentially if you're a system administrator, they're going to want maybe your MCSA or Azure certification or AWS. If you're going to be going towards networking, they're going to want a CCNA, which is essentially these vendor specific certifications. So not only are you going to have to have your security plus, but you're going to also have to have that vendor specific certification. Now, if you're not going towards DOD, there are jobs out there that of course just want A plus and it's listed. You can just go on on Deed and see a whole bunch of jobs that are asking for these certifications. However, they're going to be a lot lower paying than what you're expecting. Honestly, if you want to get into networking, I agree with what this guy says. I think that you should go ahead and get your network plus, and then from there, you can go ahead and get your CCNA, and then there's a lot better of a chance of you finding a better job, potentially one that'll even get you $50,000 or even more. Uh, but that's just my two cents. That's kind of what his two cents is. Overall, I agree with what he says. The CompTIA trifecta is a little overplayed. Uh, it's cool to have it, and I felt great when I'm getting it, and if you're going for it now, I recommend still getting it. I mean, especially if you're getting into the IT field, uh, which is a lot of what these certifications try to game are kind of aimed at the people who are getting into it having certifications isn't going to hurt you it's only going to help however your sticking point is going to be whether or not you have the time money and resources uh, to study for these things and waste time and money actually trying to get these certifications if you're try if you need something that quick fast and in a hurry i'd recommend just yeah getting one vendor neutral certification um, and then from there going into an actual vendor specific um, related to the field that you kind of want to get into within it so security plus um, or A plus or Net plus, and then from there going ahead and actually getting that vendor specific. So like your CCNA, your AWS, or even um, uh, maybe an ISC squared certification for the security realm, or maybe even CEH. So it just depends. Um, I can get into more specifics in another video, but overall, is the CompTIA trifecta uh, worth it? I'm gonna go ahead and agree with this guy and say, I mean, it's all right. Like overrated as in my opinion i mean let me know what you guys think about this whole topic i just want to give my two cents on it i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video peace